Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen here with Sports Church Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. We're going to be covering is Chase Young with a big contract. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Looking into Chase Young, the phenomenal young man, uh, 6'4", 6'5", 25 years old, 260, 70 pounds, one of the most genetically gifted defensive ends you have in the NFL. Coming out of Ohio State, it was looked at as a no-brainer, one of the best talents overall in the 2020 draft. Coming out the gate, he did win defensive rookie of the year and earned a Pro Bowl in his first season. And you gotta think, from the standpoint, 7.5 sacks his first year, great against the run, was a great run stuffer. Also, when it came to uh, pass attempts, he was literally one of the people that was swatting down balls. He was literally one of the people that was altering the quarterback's throwing trajectory to where when he's coming, he's coming high with his hands up, He's sacking, he's, he's getting hits on the quarterback. He was doing the full thing. Then the injury where he tore his ACL, missing 22 games over two seasons, and you saw the decline a little bit in not only his physical ability, but you saw the, the actual effort level slow down a little bit. A lot of times, you know, it takes athletes a year or two to come back from those kind of injuries. But we've also saw this season. This season, and not only in the regular season, but the playoffs. You saw Chase taking plays off. If we're just being honest with ourselves, we saw him taking plays off. Um, there was times where in the Super Bowl, he was lollygagging where he, if he was running full speed, he could have caused a fumble. He could have been to a tackle to stop a, a first down from happening. Um, there was a number of plays against the Lions, a number of uh, uh, plays versus the actual Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs where they show him jogging, not running his full uh, speed. And essentially, a guy getting 15, 20 more yards because of it. And now, all of a sudden, you see the Chiefs are winning the Super Bowl. So anything can happen. The motor isn't as high as it used to be. But when you think about Chase Young, he's a phenomenal talent. Um, we've seen flashes. He'll have times where, like against the Jacksonville Jaguars or against the Washington Commanders when he played, you'll see flashes of greatness where he'll make a big play, and then the very next play, the guy will run past him. So it's tough, and you got to think. There are people projecting that he can make around $15 million with a team. I think, in my estimation, if I'm Chase, I bet on myself. I take a short one-year, two-year term deal, and I go get a big performance, and then I go get paid on the big market. From the standpoint of what you think you're worth, you have to sometimes take chances on yourself. He's not going to get the full value because a lot of times people see what we see on the film. We see him taking plays off. We see him get beat by the uh, offensive linemen that shouldn't be beating him. We see him get beat to certain areas, and then it looks like he's getting pancaked by guys that shouldn't be doing that to him. So if, in my humble estimation, I wouldn't pay Chase Young a lot of money. I'm going to be honest with you. If it was a one-year rental, I'd probably take a chance, on, depending on the defensive front that I have, depending on how many guys I have already on the defensive line. If it's a situation like the 49ers, I take a one-year flyer, boom. $14, $15 million, I'm, I'm fine with that. But anything long-term, no thanks, no thanks, no thank you. Um, to me, if you're lazy, it comes out more as you get your money. If you're lazier and your work habits are not the best and your motor isn't the best, that shows me something. If you look at Aiden Hutchinson in with the Detroit Lions, you look at certain people like um, um, different, like Joey Bosa, Nick Bosa, when these guys are primed and they're playing like this, it's different. When you look at uh, uh, different, def like look at Indomitian Sue. When Indomitian Sue was playing, that motor was running high. Like you could see sometimes he crossed the line, but the motor was running high for him. The guy was literally <laughs> about business every single play. I'm not taking a playoff. I want to punish you every single play. So that's what I want for my defensive lineman. Um, again, nothing's wrong with the kid off the field. I think that, you know, he has a lot of potential. He has a lot of uh, uh, gifts. But from the standpoint, if he doesn't put it together and he's not a leader in the locker room, it's not worth it to me. So what do you guys feel? Are you NFL fans, you Commander fans, 49er fans, NFL fans? Get in the comment section. Do you think he's worth a big money contract? Would you sign him to a big year deal or would you do a one-year flyer? Let your thoughts be known in the comment section and def definitely check out the archive that we have here on Sports Choice Plus on the YouTube platform. We'll see you in the very next video.